JP Weiser's 23 year cask strength Canadian whiskey. Should you grab one? Stay tuned for the whiskey whistle. Hello, hello, my whiskey friends. Mark here at Whiskey Whistle on YouTube, sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Winnipeg, the center of North America, bringing you JP Weiser's 23 year cask strength Canadian whiskey. Now, this was the 2020 Whiskey Whistle Whiskey of the Year for the category of $101 or higher Canadian whiskey. This is very interesting because, well, this is the first time I've seen whiskey of this strength in Canada, 64.3%, and the uh, Alberta Premium, the, uh, the 2020 Whiskey Whistle Whiskey of the Year, Canadian Rye Whiskey for $100 and lower, this one's 65.1, so this is bizarre that we're getting these huge, huge, big, 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 badass whiskeys here in Canada. Now, both of these are world beaters. Absolutely everybody who tries these would say, oh my God, Canadian whiskey can be so awesome. It's true. All right, so I've got some port here already. Let's go through the color and the legs of the whiskey. Then the nose, the palate, and the finish. Let's see if I can balance that. All right, color first of all. Pretty dark. I mean, gold plus. Getting nearly into the copper end. Mm-hmm, very dark gold. We'll give it a whiff before we take off that lid. Dusty, bookshelfy, leathery. Slight kind of an apple. Hint of mint in there. Mmm, beautiful. Okay, the legs for J.P. Weiser's 23-year. Let's see what we have here. Hello, legs. Very, very slow. Where are you? There, just beginning. So it kind of sheets down all at once. And then the secondary legs, you get these tiny little streaks. And look how slow they are super close together that's some heavy whiskey okay on to the nose as i said you got a bookshelfy note oak oak shelved library oak paneled law office with leather seats Leather Ferrari Testarossa interior. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I don't know what that smells like. I wish I did. <laughs> uh, slight apple. Little bit of icing sugar. Pretty nice. Now let's get into the palette, shall we? Cheers. Mm. Big, big sweetness. Citrus. Apple. That leather. Little bit of vanilla. The finish has lots, lots of vanilla. Mmm. There's so much going on there. It's very feisty. It's peppery. Really mouth coating. The finish is super long. Peppery. Apple. Caramel. Caramel apple. Beautiful. Huge thumbs up to the maker, Dr. Don Livermore. Well done, sir. And locally, I've met a few people here that are in the Corby Spirit and Wine Company locally. One more taste. Now, it's super strong, but if you take small enough sips, you'll handle it. I'm talking like one milliliter or less.
then it becomes very warming and it goes down easily no issues there now we're going to add some water here Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We'll go with twenty. Okay, stir it around with a little bit of water, and let's see what happens. It really brings out that dusty bookshelf, library, oak library, oak law office type of note. Super clean new car interior. You know, leather interior. There's that dusty rye note. A little minty. A little bit herbal. A little bit chalky. Alright, on to the palette. Mm. becomes beautifully creamy and rich super fruity a little bit of icing sugar still there really bright and fresh in the mouth there's a slight astringency coming there like underripe persimmon or a little bit of underripe banana. Hmm. And the finish is basically unchanged. It's long, it's fruity, it's fresh, delicious, very nice. Well, let's get on the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score then for Wiser's 23 year old cask strength Canadian whiskey. What is that going to be for this one? It's going to be 91 out of 100. You heard it. 91 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for this very special Wiser's 23-year-old. This is $150 for 23-year-old cask strength whiskey. Imagine what that would be if it were single malt scotch. It would be $800 here in Manitoba. If it were bourbon, it would be $400, $500, maybe more. Crazy value. And this really stands up to those more popular more famous categories of whiskey now if that were japanese it would be two thousand dollars if that were Macallan, of course it would be very expensive but very delicious very interesting mm. i'm so happy that i got that i got the chance to try it first at a local wiser's event i brought out all of the winnipeg whiskey club there so we had a good con good contingency of people, contingency, good, a good group of people that were there. And um, boy, we had Dr. Don Livermore who came to Winnipeg. So we got to experience his brand of, of quirky humor and his ultra scientific and yet very, very, what's the word? Um, approachable brand of science, sciencey whiskey stuff which was cool, I think. All right, anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you check out Whiskey Whistle on Patreon. Join the Whiskey Whistle crew, patreon.com backslash whiskey whistle. Throw a bit of support to Whiskey Whistle. If you're enjoying what I'm doing, I'd love to see you there. And if you're watching lots of Whiskey Whistle, why not subscribe to the channel? Click the link right over here and then hit the bell, ding, 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 so you're notified of the future Whiskey Whistles. I'd love that, that would be a big help for me because that way you know when my next video is coming, all right? Take care, everybody. We'll see you for the next one. Goodbye now.